Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to solve an example on mensuration. A, B, C and D lie on a circle. So we can see the four points A, B, C and D are on the circle. And the radius of the circle is given as 8 cm. So from point O till point A, the radius is 8 cm. A, B and C, D are tangents to a circle with center O. So A, B is a tangent because it just touches the circle at point E and CD is also a tangent to the circle which touches at this point and the radius of that circle is given as 4 cm so from point O till point E this small circle has a radius of 4 cm ABCD is a rectangle calculate the distance AE so we have to find out the length of AE so let us consider the triangle A, E and O. Now since AB is a tangent and OE is the radius, we know the property that the tangent always makes a 90 degree with the radius or the diameter of a given circle. So we can see that this is acting as a right angled triangle. So let me redraw this triangle. So we have the point O over here, E is over here and A over here and OE is perpendicular to EA and OE is being given as 4 cm as the radius of the inner circle and OA is the radius of the outer circle and it was given as 8 cm so we are supposed to find the distance AE so we can use the Pythagoras theorem over here and write it as OA square hypotenuse square is equal to the sum of the square of the other two legs of a right angle triangle. So it is OE square plus AE square. Now we have to find out the distance AE so we will make it as a subject. So we'll keep it as AE square is equal to OA square. Now OA is given as 8 so OA square becomes 8 square minus we are sending this OE on this side and OE we have as 4 so it becomes 4 square and AE becomes the square root of 8 square is 64 minus 16 so square root of 64 minus 16 gives us 6.928 or we can write it as 6.93 to three significant figures. So this is the distance AE and this is in centimeters. Now let us look at the next part of this question. Calculate the shaded area. So we can see that we have to find the area of the shaded region. So to find that out we can subtract the area of the circle from the rectangle. But for finding the rectangle, we need to know the length of the rectangle and the width of the rectangle. Now to find out the length of the rectangle, we had got the part AE as 6.93. So the part EB is also going to be 6.93. So the lengths are going to be equal. So the total length we can get it by adding 6.93 and 6.93. So we can get the length AB as 6.93 times 2 so that is going to be 13.86 so this is the length of the rectangle now to calculate the width of the rectangle which is AD or BC so let me take it as AD here let us consider the radius of the inner circle and it was given as 4 so if I am going to draw a diameter of this circle, it is going to be equal to the width of the rectangle. So from O to E if it is 4 in length, then from point O till this point it is going to be 4. So the total width is going to be addition of 4 and 4 which gives us 8. So we get it as 8 cm. So let us find out the area of this rectangle now. So area of rectangle is length times width and we had got the length as 13.86 and width we got it as 8. So now let us calculate this. It is 
86 times 8 which gives us 110.88 so this is the area of the rectangle now let us try to find out the area of this circle so area of the circle is given as pi r square so we write it as pi and the radius of the circle was 4 so pi times 4 square and we get it here as pi times 16 which is 50.265 we will round it as 50.27 so it is 50.27 centimeter square now to get the area of the shaded region we have to subtract the area of circle from area of rectangle so let us write it over here so we have the area of rectangle as 110.88 and we have area of circle as 50.27 so let us check how much we get 0.88 minus 50.27 that gives us 60.61 so the area of the shaded region is 60.61 centimeter squared so this is how we find the area of the shaded region I hope you have understood all the steps and like the video so if you are liking my videos like share and subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching